Many child experts say a child learns to make friends only after he or she has mastered certain social skills like sharing, empathy, initiating conversation, and so on. But many parents question how to handle it when your child picks up from bad behaviors from other children. While some parents believe you should intervene in your child's friendship, others feel that kids need to experience various personality types. I am dying to hear what you guys would advise on this. And I'll share my own, but I want to know, what do you guys think? Intervene or sit it out? Ooh. I would intervene. I would intervene if I saw that. Well, I would actually talk to my child first and say, you know, I'm noticing that maybe this is not a good friend for you. I I feel like there's going to be some you know, some bad influences on you. I would do that. And then if if that didn't work and I felt like it was getting dangerous, then I would probably talk to the parent of the other kid. Oh, yeah. I really would and just say I'm noticing some behaviors, you know, yeah. mom to mom or mom to dad, whatever it is. And, you know, can we talk about it? Because obviously my kid likes your kid and I'd yeah. like to know if there's anything going on. Now, if my kid, that that's if my kids are 14 now. Yeah. But if they were older, at some point you got to let them figure out. Mm-hmm. Which friends are good for them and not? And I think that's a helpful way. Wait, you're gonna come in. I, I feel it. What I'm, are you doing? I'm gonna be just like my mom. I'm gonna let you know. You could be 38 years old. My mom sees somebody around me she don't like. Watch out. Be careful. I don't like that little girl. I don't like the way that girl talks on Instagram. I don't right. like the. My mom will let. She does not. Listen. But let me finish this. So uh, a few weeks ago, we had a bunch of kids at the house, and they were all hanging out. And there was this one kid that I felt like. I didn't like him, you you know. They all went outside to play and he was upstairs. It's like, well, why aren't you out with the other kids? There's something about him. Interesting. So when he left and there were still other kids there and I said to Jade, I said, you know what? There's something about that kid that I don't like. And all his friends piped in and said, we don't like him either. Wow. And I was like, and Jade almost felt like a real sense of relief that he didn't have to hang out with this kid anymore. Which was really, really interesting. Exactly. Even start the conversation up. What's going on with this person? Yeah. yeah. What are they like? What do you like about them? Why mm-hmm. do you want to hang out with them? Mm-hmm. Why, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I feel that it's so necessary. And I'm sorry, I believe truly mom knows best. There's yeah. something about moms, they, yeah. they may see things that we may not be able to see yeah. from yeah. the outside looking in. Yeah. I like the intervening. The only thing is my mom was a hardcore interview. When you talk about Mama Nilda, I feel that way too. She really guarded me and spoke real, real clear about people she felt were shady and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But it left me at my 25s and older, especially in Hollywood, to figure out what to say to people when I sense those things myself. And I didn't like that time wasted. I didn't like figuring it out by 35 what to say to the person to check them. So I think for Monaco, if let's say, well, then there was a couple situations. I have a cousin named Dylan who's 16, and then I have another little cousin who's eight. And for both of them, they've had friends that you can tell from listening to them that the friends are mean girls, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they don't know that like at that. the time. You don't experience it. So what I told them instead is just to pick and choose when you want to be friends with them. If they're acting mean today, uh, I don't need to talk. Then cool. Like, uh, I, I'm going to go over here. If you decide I'm being cool today, yeah. I'm yeah. over here. Yeah. Like, say things so you, you protect your aura and also know what to say so you don't have to handle that type of behavior. You get to pick and choose what you want to do. And those two have done that. And every time I check in about those mean girls, they've t- told me, like, I don't even want to be friends anymore. So they've decided themselves. On their own. So I, I feel like I want to try That's to teach smart. that with Monaco because I didn't know what to say to those people because I didn't have my mom around to help me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, okay. and it is true that to some extent you have to flex that muscle. Yeah. Right. Figuring out exactly. how to discern for yourself right. good yes. and bad. Exactly. Sure. Exactly.